Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Divine Balance. My name is Carmen. I'm going to be doing a reading for today, which is January 10th, 2022. It's a daily general reading for everyone. So take it resonates, leave the rest, switch the roles if you have to. Do not focus on the gender on the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for when I upload. Okay. So let's just see what comes out for today. Spirit, your messages for today, January the 10th. Messages for today, January the 10th. Okay. Messages for today. So far, so good. I'll show you the cards in a minute. That's too many. Yeah, these cards are slippery because of the, the material used by love. Shuffle these last few cards here. Any other messages? So we have the Three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune here as well, Ace of Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So it looks like there's some type of fated event that's going to happen. Um, and I feel like there's going to be some type of truth and clarity about a situation that's going to um, be told to you and some queen of pentacles will reverse somebody who's materialistic will chances are be left out of this situation nine of swords they are stress worried have an anxiety that you are moving on okay queen of pentacles could be a taurus virgo capricorn does not have to be but it is somebody materialistic honey so let's just get some elaboration on the situation here, shall we? Somebody's being left out. We may get the truth about this person. Three of cups. What's the three of cups about spirit? Thank you. Karmic justice. So this might be something like court-wise. Could be a labor. Doesn't have to be. This could be um, a court situation where you're actually winning. This could be it too. Eight of, eight of wands in reverse. No communication. The magician. Because somebody was being manipulative, you'll get justice in this situation. Mm, having a little deja vu here. This is interesting. Justice. Justice card of my spirit. Seven of Cups. So you're going to have some options, some choices um, that is going to come about. Wow. Because the King of Wands in reverse was being manipulative. Um, King of Wands in reverse could be somebody that's lazy. They don't take action. They were being manipulative. Um, this could also go a different way where a King of Wands in reverse magic is being is backfiring. So you pretty much get the victory. You're getting the victory because of whoever, whatever they were doing is backfiring on them. Look at this. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They were a taker, causing conflict, causing issues. You see that? It could be two different people. King of Wands is um, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Um, Queen of Pentacles again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But this could be somebody that was materialistic. This could also be somebody that is lazy, stagnant, manipulative as well. Oh, Will of Fortune. What's the Will of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune. See? Sun card. Happiness coming in. There's some type of... The wheel may have turned. 
and it's going to bring in the joy that you have been waiting for sun card what's the sun card okay we have the ten of cups here which is very good two of swords not sure what you're unsure why are you unsure about this maybe it's you feel like huh? six of pentacles you could be cutting out equally giving and taking to somebody you could also be um this could also be um balancing your finances as well but you're not sure wow this was on the top nine of swords you're feeling you're, you're kind of stressed you're having a little anxiety because you're not understanding where all this came from but if you've been manifesting it, it's coming in for you. Just let you know that. And clearly, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Four of Cups in reverse. There is an opportunity that you felt like was over. It's not. It's coming back. Three of Cups. And you guys, you guys, or just you, you know, maybe some sisters or something like that, you are going to be celebrated. So you thought this situation was over and done with. You thought the opportunity was gone. It's not. Four cups in reverse, please. Four cups in reverse. Two of cups. Truth and clarity about a relationship, a soulmate that you thought may have been toxic. Um... This could also be somebody toxically watching you. Somebody who's obsessed with watching you. Okay. Don't have any shit together. But you'll find out about it. You're going to find out about it. I really do. I feel like this person is watching you and your person. And if you aren't with anybody, they will be watching you too. But they can't do anything about it. Two of Cups. Because it's a faded event that's supposed to be happening between you two. Eight of Wands. There may not be any communication between you and this person because they lied. You feel like they're a liar. Then you may feel like they're sneaky as well. Eight of Wands in reverse. Please, Spirit. Put Eight of Wands up. Yeah, you could either be conflicted or this person always tries to call, cause conflict. This could also be someone speaking the truth about why... Um why there was so much so many issues or why they're not talking to you like you're too your soulmate could be coming in and explain you know why they weren't speaking to you there could have been other people involved in this situation as well and there could have been some confusion going on here a lot of confusion with the uh, how to fix this between you two five of one okay toxicity coming in it may have been some obsessions it may have been some addictions that were happening somebody could have also been trying to cause conflict between you and this person because they knew that you were about that you're you're their wish fulfillment queen of pentacles in reverse strength in reverse this person is trying to gain their strength they are very weak and they're a liar this person also uh may not love you you may not love them they do not love themselves this could also be a situation we'll put that here too they got some lessons that they need to learn because yeah empress card empress card at the top with the moon card at the bottom i feel like this person may have betrayed the empress could be a Libra or a Taurus. doesn't have to be Aries, Empress. I'm saying Aries. Huh. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Look, this person is very toxic. This person is very ill. Because you got Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Got Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck as well. There is no new beginnings with this person. This person is stagnant as hell. And you got the Lovers in reverse. This person is not making any decisions. And if they're making decisions, they're not that smart when it comes to that. This person um, probably ended the relationship. 
And then we also have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This person is going through some serious karma because of what they did with you. Or vice versa. I'll tell you how it resonates. This person is going through some serious karma, though. Some, like, ultimate serious karma. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Past energy. This could be, like, a person that, that did all this in the past. They may be going through it now, or maybe they've already went through their, their karma. So, let's see if we find out more. Messages for the collective, please. Messages for the collective. situation that involves kids of course maybe you need some time apart you two need some time apart take a trip with the children this was busy be here but it was in the reverse maybe this person is no longer all over the place no longer scattered no longer like really active this person might also um be staying they must also be taking their time for some of you to come in and talk to you because there's children involved in this situation. Um, <laughs> empathy overload. Okay, what's that about? Five, six, seven, seven. They may want you to, um, they may come in and play victim. You don't understand what I've been through. But they are seeing things from a better perspective. This could be you as well. I gotta fix these cards. The energy block is in reverse, so your energy is no longer blocked, and neither is theirs. So I feel like, um, and then look, winter solstice. So it happened, it, it happened when winter hit. Um I feel like this person's energy is no longer blocked and they're free to do what it what they want, um, however they want, you know, kind of thing. Because somebody was probably doing something to keep them, to hold them back from coming towards you. Let's see who it is. This stagnant person be doesn't always have to be a lover. Who is the stagnant person in the reading? Who is the stagnant person in the reading? Spirit? Could be a father, stepson. They came out together, father and a stepson. Stepdaughter. Ooh, it's a family situation, possibly. Uh, potential new love that could be causing these issues or having issues. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, former friend. All right. So that's the reading for today, the 10th of January. Okay, it could go, it could resonate at any time. Um, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for when I upload. Also follow me on my social media platforms as well. And don't forget to check out my website for the products that I do offer. I will be reopening my personal reading schedule for you guys. Uh, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye guys.